Hi, welcome to the first edition of Skip, Rent, or Buy. This is where I review movies that have already come out that you might have seen at the video store and you're not quite sure if they're worth it. I'm reviewing Cube this time and I, th I think it very much depends on how what kind of science fiction horror you like. If you don't like science fiction horror, it's not for you, period. But if you if you like when you know it's it's all about it's it's a very subtle film it uh, it doesn't have i mean there's you know there's some violence and gore and blood but it's there there's not a lot of it and um in in general very minimal very minimalistic it's about the atmosphere and it's it's very psychological it's um there's an underlying tension of not quite knowing where exactly they are and why. Now it's it's um it's this little indie film from um, Canada uh, from 1997, and um, it's basically just you know some guys that got together with enthusiasm and an original concept, and uh, they put it together, and in both the good and the bad ways, it does kind of show, you know. You can tell that it wasn't made for an awful lot of money, but I don't really think it detracts. I think they made fantastic use of um, of sets and effects. But the acting is a bit, you know, there's a couple of good performances and, you know, here and there, good moments where um, the actors really shine, but on the whole, it's not terribly impressive. The writing, the, the dialogue, and and the script overall, very, very good. Um, you know, the... it... Um, you know, the, the uh, some issues are pondered, and it, they're neither uh, preachy or pretentious about it, which is nice and rare. The sound is very good. It it's again very minimalistic, um, especially um, in the music. Probably most no noticeable. Um, there's there's not an awful lot of it, and what there is is the very you know. Don't want to say cheap. It's it's the inexpensive kind. There's some s synthesizer stuff going on, and. Um, there's this eerie, um, where the, you hear like whispers, and it's apparently someone, someone's girlfriend or or something that recorded the that did these whispers, and then they use that for um, for the music. But it's very effective. The setting really makes for this a very claustrophobic and um, trapped kind of feeling and that also helps you know tension all along the way and um, it's it's a very uh, engaging film um, I uh, I couldn't take my eyes off it and you know I I would say the ending is potentially part of it anyway potentially potentially a letdown but on the whole I I'm I'm thrilled I, I've been looking for it for years and I'm I'm thrilled that I finally got a chance to watch it. I enjoyed it, you know, throughout, and it, you know, it it was very satisfying. On the whole, I mean, it's it's um, it's a just under ninety minutes total, so um, the the setting doesn't quite get to the point where you're, you know, if you watch Alien or um. You know, um, Space Odyssey to two thousand one Space Odyssey. After a while, you know the the lack of sunlight, the the lack of open space. It just kind of has a negative effect on um, you know, like the uh, a sub subconscious negative effect. And I don't think that gets to happen with Q because it doesn't last long. It it um. 
you know, and and it in general, and it doesn't overstay its welcome either. But the the main point of it is really, you know, the the people. Everything else is just basically the backdrop. It's about these these characters and how they interact, how what happens to them in under these circumstances. And if that sounds appealing to you, you're probably gonna enjoy it. Um, I sure did. Don't go in expecting rock music or you know big um, big gore sequences or. Or like a ton of traps. I, part of uh, the part of what you know, people who know a little bit about it know that it's about people trapped in a cube and there's traps. The traps are not the focus. They're there, but they're not the focus. But definitely, if if based on what I've said here, you think you're the the type to enjoy the film, I would definitely suggest, at the very least, rent it. It might not necessarily be one you want to, you know, for sure own a copy of, but it's definitely worth watching at least once.